Jonathan, must we really tamper with the Microsoft 365 login page? It all sounds rather flashy. Charles, this isn't about being flashy. I want to brand your Microsoft 365 portal for security. Branding? Good heavens, Jonathan. We're not estate agents. I know one firm who branded everything. Pens, mugs, mouse mats. They even branded their underwear. I mean, embroidered briefs, Jonathan. God forbid. Oh, no. Jonathan, we at Hawthorne Bell don't need such gimmicks. Our reputation does the talking. Charles, this isn't about vanity. It's about cybersecurity. Branding your Microsoft 365 login page can help prevent phishing attacks. Look, if your team are used to seeing your logo and your background image on your Microsoft 365 login page, they'll think twice about entering the credentials into an unbranded fake page. Are you telling me a logo could stop a hacker? Look, I'm saying it helps. It's simple, it's free, and it's something that can help protect your firm. And here I was, defending our unbranded portal's modesty unknowingly parading it in front of cyber criminals. Poor Charles. For a man who can smell a weak contract from a hundred yards, phishing emails still manage to sneak past. And he's not alone. The reality is Microsoft 365 branding isn't about looking fancy. It's about creating visual certainty. When your staff log into Microsoft 365, they expect a familiar experience. But by default, Microsoft gives everyone the same generic login screen. That's the same screen that hackers imitate when they build phishing sites. So when your login page looks identical to a fake one, what chance have you got? But by adding your logo, your background, and a clear message, something that only your organization would use, you're training your users to spot what's real and what's not real. So branding your Microsoft 365 portal makes phishing attempts easy to detect. Plus, it shows professionalism and ownership. And it costs you absolutely nothing if you're on a Microsoft 365 paid plan. So let me demo this for you. Let me show you how easy it is to set up company branding in Microsoft 365 and give your users a sign experience that's both professional and protective. Okay, this is the standard Microsoft 365 login page. So Charles can enter his email address. He'll click on next, and then it will ask him to enter his password. Now, this screen here is just the default Microsoft 365 login page with no branding. So if you've not branded your 365 login page, you'll see something like this. This page is the same the world over. So obviously cyber criminals can take advantage of this. But we're gonna fix this for Charles, okay? So if I go over here now, this is the Microsoft 365 Admin Center for Hawthorne Bell. So what I would need to do is go to Show All and then go to Admin Centers and Identity and then the Microsoft Enter Admin Center opens, okay? And what we're looking for is under Enter ID, custom branding, okay? Now, this might look different depending on what license you have in your Microsoft 365 tenant, but we are looking for custom branding. And then what we want to do is we want to customize the default sign-in experience. And we've got all these along the top, which I'm gonna go through now. But you can see here, look, we need some images now you might be thinking well i need to get a graphic designer to create me a fancy image you don't you can use ai so you can use a tool like copilot or ChatGPT or anything like that i've done that look i've simply uploaded our hawthorne bell logo which is this one here into my ai tool and i've asked it to create me a background image for my Office 365 branding page. And it's given us this nice one here, look, with a lovely London skyline, which I think Charles is gonna love, okay? I also asked it to create as a fav favicon, which it has done here. So I'm all good to go. You don't need to spend any money on doing these images. Click on Browse, choose the favicon, click on Open, and that will upload it. 
our background image we'll do the same there click on open we've got that there we'll leave this color thing here click on layout now the first thing the template so if we look here look you can see this is kind of in the middle i prefer the partial screen background and at the end you will see exactly what that looks like i'm going to switch the header off so hide header i am going to show the footer okay if we click on next it takes us to the header page we can't do anything because we've switched the header off but this is simply a logo in the top left hand corner and i'll show you exactly where it would appear but i don't need it for the demo click on next for the footer so we've got a couple of options that we can show in the footer the first one is privacy and cookies okay we can have display text and then a url so the link on this page typically points to a privacy notice or a cookie policy explaining how your organization handles user data during logon okay it's especially relevant for organization with external collaborators compliance requirements or transparency obligations so what you would typically do is put some text in here so i'll put some dummy text here maybe something like that and then you would have a page on your website and you could then put the url in there so i will just put this url here so i'll put this website here look hawthorne.bell forward slash privacy this doesn't exist because obviously hawthorne bell are completely made up and then we've got the terms of use where we've also got display text and a url so the terms of use on your microsoft 365 login page need to cover things like who's allowed to access the system what users can and can't do what happens in case of misuse maybe disclaimers of liability maybe a reference to any internal policies like an acceptable use policy or an it policy it doesn't need to be too long but it should clearly set some expectations okay so i will put some dummy text in here again maybe something like that pointing to a url okay hawthornbell.com forward slash terms and we'll see how it looks at the end click next sign in form and then we've got various logos okay so i will upload our logo into here i will upload it into here i will upload it into here okay scroll down and then we've got some signing page text so i will enter something in here that's very charles bell style solicitors of distinction only okay you will see what this looks like at the end okay and if you have self-service password resets you can configure this as well click on next this is it let's click on create okay our branding page has now been configured so let's just let wait till that kicks in and i will show you what it looks like okay so charles bell wants to log in again and he goes to the microsoft 365 login page now this is the same because this is just the global login page but then charles enters his email address and then he clicks on next and you can see it takes us to this beautiful looking branded logging page okay you can see the signing page is towards the right hand side because that's the way we 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 configured it i like this because it's different to the default okay so if someone then get gets sent to a, a bogus page they're going to know it's different to their standard login page you can see here look the solicitor of distinction message we put in and then down in the footer you can see read our terms of use read our privacy and cookie policy so that's where they appear and if they are links so they would link to the website the header logo that i didn't put in it would put a little logo up here okay and i didn't put that in there but as you can see this is great for your cyber security but it's also really professional isn't it if you're inviting guests to to look at data within your microsoft 365 tenancy they will also see this and it gives off that air of professionalism so that's it that's 365 branding tasteful authoritative and not a single pastel gradient in sight dare i say i rather like it now let's go and catch 
some fishes. So there you have it. Even Charles Bell has embraced company branding. It's not just about logos and colors. It's about making your Microsoft 365 environment harder to impersonate and easier for your team to trust. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you again soon.